Hello and welcome back to Raccoon Justice, where justice done the raccoon way is the only way to do justice. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below things you want to comment down below. Thank you. Right, today we're going to be talking about a subject you might think to yourself, why is he bringing this up now? Why? It's been five months. Come on, let it go. The reason I'm bringing this up today is because I'm just going back through like some updates on old videos that I've done, like to see where are they now sort of situation, kind of. I mean, they're on YouTube, that's where they are now. But you see what I mean? I've done some videos, I don't want to just forget about them, and I don't want you to forget about situations which may, may, may be important to remember. But don't forget that not everybody needs to be cancelled forever, just as long as they're doing something wrong. But this is a good... I was going through this, this old video, the one that... And I forgot just how bad it actually was, to be honest. It's Jordan Cheyenne we're talking about today. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly or incorrectly. I'm sh I'm sorry. But uh, that's Jordan, Jordan, Cheyenne, Cheyenne. Jordan Cheyenne, right? That's how I'm pronouncing it. And... It was, what, a year ago, was it? 10 months ago? It was 10 months ago, I think it was. And she... She uploaded a video to her channel, which was probably one of the most horrific examples of how family vloggers treat their kids be... be behind the scenes to get the perfect video if you remember it you'll remember it <laughs> she basically she forgot to delete she recorded a clip of her and her son going to the the vet and their dog was seriously ill her son was upset about it quite normally and he was in tears he was crying and she was crying and but at the end of the the video she forgot to delete the end clip where they were taking a, a posing for the thumbnail basically i'm going to show it now a blur the kids face out come here come closer for the video come closer i'm closer i'm closer put your head put your head right here come closer close down put your head down here act like you're crying really quick i am crying go like this no mom i'm actually seriously crying no i know but go like this for the video go like this put one hand up go like this no go like this put your hand like this but let them see your mouth let them see your mouth. I don't know, Mom. I'm actually crying. crying. Look at me. 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 I'm actually crying. I know. Look at me. Look at me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's over. It's over. It's over. But he... It, yeah, it was just incredible. The way that she told him to cry for the camera and to and how to behave, where to put his hand to make it look like he's crying and to make it look like he's upset just for the camera, just for the thumbnail, whilst he is actually really, really upset. It was disgusting, and I don't think that... 
really she should be back but anyway she came back that being my main point she did come back as all vloggers do once they take a, a break because as I mentioned before they have to they can't afford to stay away from the channel because they risk getting demonetized and they can't risk that so that's why they come back they'll say that they've rehabilitated and and everything else but whether or not they actually understand what they did i do think that she probably does understand where she stepped over the mark but as this clip shows i don't think she fully grasps exactly what the problem is and i had these past five months to do so much internal work within myself and ask myself why I got to a place where I was prioritizing that, especially on such an emotional day where Christian and I were already so upset over this situation. And I am so deeply disgusted at myself and regretful that I even got to that place. Like I can't even watch the clip back. That is not a reflection at all of the deep, deep love that I have for Christian. A lot of people saw that one clip and just thought, oh, she's shit, she's a terrible mother. They have no idea that literally all I've been doing since Christian has been born is been trying to build an incredible life for him, you know, have financial security, take him out for adventures and literally just give him the best life possible. So the fact that I worked very hard on putting out content for seven years that was positive and uplifting and about trying to be the best mom that I can. See, now this here shows me that she hasn't learned what is actually the problem. What she's saying is that she is excusing why she did everything that she's done in the life of her child. She's worked hard to put content out to exploit her kid, but that's okay. But she did step over the line when she came to what she did that one time. And that should not be a reflection of who she is as a person. When in fact, she doesn't realize that who she is as a person is exploitative towards her son, which is not a good thing. And she's not reflecting on that at all what she thinks is that she's done this one bad thing and she has had five months of hell because of it and whilst that's true to an extent it's not the full story and i don't think she gets it the fact that something blew up it that put me in such a negative light and that was just such a bad thing that i did has been extremely, extremely hard for me to battle and internalize. There's nothing whatsoever okay about what I did. It is literally disgusting. I have I have absolutely no excuse. I should have turned off the camera in that moment, just tended to Christian and his emotions and just been there for him and not, not been prioritizing my content at all. Like I said, that is not a reflection of the overall mom that I am. And that there tells you everything you need to know is that she doesn't understand what she has been doing was wrong throughout the seven years that she's been vlogging and whilst that again i'll reiterate that one instance was severely bad how many times has she got her child to to pose for a thumbnail it doesn't feel like that was the first time Yes, that may have been an extreme example of of what goes on, but I feel like that was probably not the first time that she's stopped at the end of a film, at the end of filming a clip, and just turned to him and said, right, let's pose for a thumbnail now, which is not normal. And it shows the level of exploitation that goes on. I don't feel that, like that was addressed in this comeback video. But anyway, she is back and she's thriving now. She's been back for five months and she's doing well. Yep, she seems to be doing well. Uh, this video wasn't intentionally supposed to be bashing on her. It was just to update 
and to review what she's been up to how she's come back and everything else like that to let you know that she is back if you were ever curious that what happened to Jordan Cheyenne because you know I did a video on her and that's what she's up to she's come back she was away for about five months she's been back about five months and just keep an eye out see if she carries on behaving herself <laughs> I don't mean that just <laughs> she she's doing fine um and no qualms no gripes I think she has she knows what she did was extremely wrong on that one occasion so there's a little bit more self-awareness now about things that she does do that could be harmful to her kids so there we go anyway thank you all so much for joining me today and um, please give this video a massive thumbs up if you would like more and comment everything you want to comment down below do you follow Jordan have you ever watched her videos let me know and subscribe to the channel thank you so much take care and bye bye Thank you so much to all my channel members, Kelly XX, Supergirl Fan, Butterfly 0111X, Sam, Granny Cake, Layla 68, Hayley Billington, My One Hollywood, Soon to Be Mrs. B, Reborn 1988, Paul, Caroline Page, Jim Jam, Vicky Mum of 4XX, Joanne C, Jude Lyons 1, Kirsty Reed, Create. Tracy Jordan, Linda Spence and Cam K. Thank you all so much for all your support.